heavyweight in existence. No spot. Ooh. There you go. You got that. With Mike and Paul set for an intense showdown in Arlington, Texas on November 15th, both have been teasing and taunting each other in the lead-up to their highly anticipated bout things reached a boiling point when Paul recently posted a video appearing to wear a fat suit seemingly mocking Tyson after the boxing legend had previously called him fat during a press conference earlier this year. I'm not fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. However, Tyson, never want to hold back, fired back with an intense response. The rivalry between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul didn't emerge overnight. Their paths were bound to cross eventually with Paul climbing the ranks of the boxing world, not by the traditional route but through social media fame spectacle and a string of victories against notable but aging MMA fighters and boxers, Tyson, now 58 years old, hasn't fought professionally since 2005, but remains a symbol of boxing ferocity and power. Even in his older age, the heavyweight division Tyson Fury been real quiet Tyson. Fury with underscore underscore you at underscore underscore. Boom, earlier this summer, the pair were set to clash, but Tyson had to postpone the fight after suffering from an inflamed ulcer. That delay only gave more room for Paul's antics to escalate the American social media. Star known for his pranks and mind games used the downtime to continue building the fight's hype. But it was the fat suit video that really set Tyson off in the video Paul surrounded by friends in a gym pretended to bench press. An incredible 500 pounds. A weight many quickly pointed out was likely fake. However, it was his appearance in a comically exaggerated fat belly suit that truly caught everyone's attention. It's clear that Paul was poking fun at Tyson's earlier words about his weight. But Paul has always kept things playful strongest boxer in existence. Paul bragged in the video's caption, triggering a flurry of responses online we 500 pounds on the strongest heavyweight in. Existence no spot for Tyson this fight means more than just getting back. Into the ring for an exhibition, his last official fight against Kevin McBride in 2005 ended in disappointment. And while he had a successful exhibition against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, the former champ feels he still has unfinished business. At a recent gym session, Tyson looked more focused than ever determined to shut Paul up for Goodman wins. Would be a 107 round, got seven round, it's all over. You don't play boxing, Tyson said when asked about the fight this isn't some game he's out here playing making jokes but when we get in that ring all the jokes stop he can wear his costumes dance around whatever but when i hit him it's over tyson's words reflect the seriousness he's bringing into this fight for him jake paul is not just another youtuber he's an opponent who has openly mocked his legacy something tyson takes very seriously while paul might be banking on his youth and size advantage he stands at 61 compared to Tyson's 5 feet 10 inches Tyson believes his experience and power will be the deciding factor. I fought giants. I fought guys who were faster, younger, stronger. None of that matters. When I'm in the zone, he can lift all the fake weights he wants. But that's not going to help him when I start landing punches. Tyson added on the other side. Jake Paul is treating this as a fight that could solidify his legitimacy in the boxing world. Since his professional debut in 2020, Paul has been on a mission to prove his doubters. Wrong, he's managed to silence some critics with wins over Tyron. Woodley Anderson Silva and Nate Diaz, but a victory over someone as iconic as Mike Tyson would be on a whole new level despite the antics Paul has shown that he's not just in boxing for the money and attention. He genuinely wants to compete at a high level. Good work, good work, good work. Let's go, 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 go. People keep saying this is a joke. But I'm dead serious, Paul said in response to questions about his commitment to the sport I've been. Training like never before, and I'm going to show the world. That I can hang with a legend like Mike Tyson, Paul's confidence comes from the success he's had so, so far in the ring. But his bravado may also be his biggest weakness mocking Tyson, especially in such a public and personal way could be seen as pushing the wrong buttons. Tyson has always been a fighter who thrives off of emotion, and Paul's taunts have only added fuel to the fire really basic. I've dealt with trash talkers my whole life, Tyson said. But this kid, he's got a big mouth, and I'm going to... Shut it, he's done some good things, I'll give him that. But he's playing with fire now, but things have only gotten interesting since as Paul readies himself for what could be the biggest fight of his career as preparation has raised concerns for all the wrong reasons the social media 
Starr has been spotted indulging in unhealthy high-carb foods, a sharp contrast to the rigorous diet and fitness routines typical of professional fighters 3 Mikey. Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't. See, in one of his recent stunts, Paul was seen chowing down on buckets of KFC chicken, flaunting his greasy meal choices with a swagger that has become his trademark fans and critics have been quick to call him out questioning whether this kind of behavior is part of a genuine strategy or just another prank to get under Tyson's skin. It's no secret that Paul has embraced the role of the provocator in the boxing world and his current antics seem to be aimed directly at Tyson's earlier comments. About his weight, the fat suit Paul has been sporting only adds to the spectacle serving as a visual show of Tyson's jab at his physique during a fiery press conference earlier this year. Nice. Come on, punch him. Yeah, yeah, the fat suit is perhaps the most outrageous part of Paul's campaign to troll Tyson, whether it's while he's lifting fake weights or standing in front of a camera scarfing down fast food, the exaggerated belly suit has become a central feature of Paul's self-promotion in the lead-up. To this fight, Tyson, of course, hasn't taken too kindly to this form of mockery with the former champ, making it clear that he intends to punish Paul for his jokes in the ring. But for Paul, the fat suit is more than just a costume. It's become part of his training regimen, according to him in a recent interview. He explained that the extra bulk helps him build more strength and endurance, claiming that it's all part of his plan to shock Tyson on fight night, whether this is a serious strategy or more. Trolling remains to be seen, but the mind games Paul is playing are clearly a key element in his approach to the music. Fight predictably, Paul's unusual tactics have triggered a wave of backlash. On social media, many fans have expressed disbelief at his eating habits, questioning how someone preparing to fight a legend like Mike Tyson could possibly be consuming such unhealthy foods and have roasted calling him irresponsible and unprofessional, while others have suggested that his antics are just. Another way to stay in the headlines in one particularly controversial video posted just four days ago on September 25th, Paul took his trolling to new heights by visiting a McDonald's drive through where he ordered an astounding 55 McDoubles 15 shakes and a host of other items in bulk. The clip quickly went viral with many questioning whether Paul was seriously preparing for the fight or simply indulging in his love for music. Spectacle despite the criticism, Paul remains unfazed he has consistently brushed off the haters insisting that his unorthodox methods are all part of his plan to win people always doubt me, Paul said in a recent interview. They think I'm just a YouTuber or a joke, but I'm serious about this. You'll see this isn't the first time Paul has faced doubters, but his confidence seems to be at an all-time high ahead of his clash with Tyson. At just 27 years old, Paul has already had an eventful boxing career fighting and winning against big names like Tyron Woodley Anderson Silva and Nate Diaz. However, his only loss came at the hands of Tommy Fury in 2023, a defeat that was widely seen as a humbling moment for Paul since then. Paul has bounced back, securing four consecutive wins, and now he's looking to solidify his place in boxing history by taking on one of the sport's most legendary figures. While many are still skeptical of Paul's abilities, his confidence heading into this fight is undeniable. In one of his more brash moments, Paul directly responded to Tyson's earlier jabs by invoking the famous Buster Douglas upset over Tyson. In 1990, Buster Douglas was fat, and I'm better than him. Paul said, I'm going to end this quicker than he did, and you'll remember that forever. Tyson, for his part, has remained relatively composed in the face of Paul's taunts, though it's clear that the former champion is itching to get his hands on the younger fighter Tyson, has repeatedly stated that while he has respect for Paul's hustly plans to teach him a lesson in the ring, Tyson's preparation for the fight hasn't been. Without its own setbacks, the 58-year-old boxing icon was forced to pull out of their originally scheduled bout in July due to a flare-up of an ulcer in his stomach a medical condition that sidelined him from training. However, since being cleared to return to the gym, Tyson has wasted no time getting back into fighting shape videos of Tyson's recent workouts have gone viral, showing the legendary fighter looking sharp, strong, and intimidating despite his age, the intensity, and power that made him one of the most feared fighters in the world during his prime are still evident, and many believe that Paul could be in for a rude awakening when he steps into the ring.
With Iron Mike, Paul's mother Pam has even expressed concern about her son's upcoming bout. In a recent interview, Paul admitted that his mother is very scared about the fight constantly asking him, and his team, whether he's truly ready to face someone like Tyson Mike, just looks scary and big, Paul said, referencing the intimidating training videos as posted on Instagram. She's not liking this one while Paul's confidence remains high. It's clear that even those closest to him are starting to feel the weight of what could be the most dangerous fight of his career the tyson paul fight represents more than just a clash between two personalities it's a battle between two generations of fighters tyson who dominated the heavyweight division in the late 1980s and early 1990s is known for his ruthless aggression and devastating knockout power paul on the other hand repres presents a new era of boxing one that's fueled by social media celebrity and spectacle yes sir yes Sir, yes, sir, that's the one. For many boxing voices, the idea of Jake Paul stepping into the ring with someone like Mike Tyson is a joke. But for Paul, this is the culmination of years of hard work and a chance to prove that he belongs in the sport regardless of how he got there. I know people still think I'm a joke, Paul said in a recent interview, but I've been proving them wrong since day one. This fight is no different. I'm going to shock the world again, just like I always do. Tyson, however, seems to have other plans, costume or... Not he's still fat and I'ma knock him out Tyson said clearly unamused by Paul's antics for Tyson. This fight isn't just about beating Paul, it's about shutting down the circus that surrounds him and reminding the world why he's considered one of the greatest fighters of all time time Mike Tyson's upcoming fight against Jake Paul has sparked plenty of discussion not only because of the age difference but also due to the controversial way Tyson prepares for fights Tyson's fight against Roy Jones. Junior in 2020 brought to light his unconventional training methods, which included the use of marijuana and magic mushrooms, these substances, he claims help him recover and maintain focus between intense sessions. However, using these during a sanctioned fight, especially in a state with strict regulations like Texas, could lead to serious music. Consequences in 2020, Tyson made his return to the ring after 15 years of retirement, facing Roy Jones Jr., in an exhibition match that ended in a draw while the event itself was historic given that it brought two legends back to the ring Tyson's admission that he fought while under the influence of marijuana created waves the California State Athletic Commission sanctioned the fight and since marijuana is legal both medically and recreationally in California there were no immediate repercussions for Tyson's drug use however Tyson was very open about the fact that he not only used marijuana to recover after his training sessions but also fought while being high listen i can't stop smoking tyson said after the fight with jones jr i smoke during fights i just have to smoke i'm sorry sorry i'm a smoker tyson's honesty on the matter set a unique precedent as he became the rare fighter to publicly admit to using marijuana before a match while the california commission didn't penalize tyson the situation in texas might not be as lenient texas maintain stricter regulations on drug use particularly for professional and sanctioned sports events the texas commission treats marijuana as a prohibited substance for fighters which means that if tyson were to test positive for it in his upcoming fight against jake paul he could face significant penalties including a ban from boxing in the state be careful on that uppercut Hot careful on that Tyson's upcoming match with YouTube star Jake Paul set for November in Texas has raised even more questions about the former heavyweight champion's preparation and whether his approach could get him in. Trouble with the Texas Commission, unlike his fight with Jones Jr., this upcoming match will be subject to much stricter rules while Tyson has made a habit of pushing the envelope this fight could be different. Texas, unlike California, is far more conservative when it comes to marijuana use and the consequences could be severe at 58 tyson is more than 30 years older than paul a fighter with a 10-1 record who has managed to defeat several well-known mma fighters in the boxing ring the age difference between the two is massive and tyson will likely need to rely on every possible advantage to keep up with his younger opponent tyson however doesn't seem phased by the age gap Instead, he has emphasized his belief that age is nothing but a number and that his intense training regimen is preparing him to go the distance in the fight. In an interview with Jimmy Kimmel Live, Tyson was asked about his plans for the fight, including whether he would be high off life when stepping into the 
Ring Tyson responded with with his usual confidence, hinting that he might not only be high off life, but high on marijuana. As well, that's a possibility too, Tyson said, adding fuel to the speculation about whether he would repeat his 2020 approach. While Tyson's comments on Kimmel's show may have been tongue and cheek the potential for repercussions, is real the Texas Commission is known for enforcing its rules strictly and if Tyson were to test positive for marijuana, he could face a suspension or even a banned lightweight boxer Kezin Davis, for example, received a 90-day suspension last year for a positive. Marijuana test setting a precedent for how the commission deals with fighters who violate its drug policies should Tyson choose to use marijuana ahead of the fight with Paul he risks much more than just suspension a positive drug test could invalidate the results of the match, and it might even lead to legal repercussions for both Tyson and the event's organizers. Texas is known for being unforgiving when it comes to drug-rated offenses, and the fallout from such an incident could tarnish not only Tyson's reputation, but also the legitimacy of the fight. While some might argue that marijuana doesn't necessarily enhance performance in a physical fight, its legal status and prohibited nature in the sport, make it a significant risk Tyson may argue that marijuana helps him mentally and physically prepare, but the rules of the sport are clear fighters are expected to be drug-free free on fight night, and any violation of this rule will not be taken lightly this potential clash between Tyson's unconventional approach and the strict rules of the Texas Commission is one of the biggest unknowns leading up to the fight if Tyson stays true to his training regimen from the Jones Jr. fight. It could result in a career-altering decision by the commission, and given that this fight is more high-profile than his exhibition, bout in 20120, the scrutiny will be that much greater yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, that's the one despite. The controversy surrounding his training methods, Tyson, remains laser. Focused on one goal to defy the expectations that come with age, at nearly 60 years old, Tyson wants to prove that he can still compete at the highest levels of the sport. I want to change biology. He said recently emphasizing that his goal is to shift the public perception of aging athletes. Tyson believes that the key to success is all in the mind. If you believe you feel bad and you feel old, then you feel bad and old. If you believe you feel great, you feel great. He explained for Tyson the battle isn't just against Jake Paul, but against the very idea that age limits what a person can do. Let's get it. Let's get it. Tyson's training schedule, which involves six hours of rigorous exercise daily, is a proof of his commitment. He wants to show the world that age doesn't have to slow a fighter down, and his belief in mind over matter has become a central theme of his preparation. Tyson's determination to stay in top shape and challenge. What is expected of a man in his late 50s has drawn admiration. From fans, but also concerns some question whether Tyson can realistically compete against someone more than 30 years his junior, especially given Paul's recent success in the ring. Well, what do you think? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.